Welcome to the hardware review of the VKB GNX THQ World War II Trust Controller combination. With this entry-level Trust Controller set in historical design, VKB offers a wide variety of functions and configuration options, which we will of course look at in detail. With two analog axes, 31 programmable buttons, 8 programmable LEDs and 2 multifunction switches, which can be used either as 2 additional axes or as 7 buttons, the VKB World War II Thrust Controller offers a much wider range of functions than most of its higher priced competitors. In addition, we find in the scope of delivery various exchangeable switches and lever heads, a 1.8 meter long USB connection cable and various adhesive labels for labeling. The Trust Controller itself offers six buttons as well as an analog main and auxiliary axis. On the SEM extension we find a further 23 buttons, some with LED status lights, as well as the two multifunction switches, which can optionally be used as two additional axes, but then we lose six buttons. Both axes lack a noticeable center lock as a zero position, which would have been a plus point here, insofar as one has simulations with a reverse thrust in the portfolio. So here we have to make do with our own marking. On the other hand, the four side and two rear buttons directly on the truss controller are very noticeable and ergonomically easy to reach. In general, the plastic used on almost the entire GNX feels sturdy and of high quality, which also continues on the handle of the truss regulator. The workmanship is, as already known from the NXT series, without any disturbing noises or noticeable gaps, which reinforces the good quality impression. As a nice detail, various World War II details can be found in German lettering on the handle. The SEM module is easy to reach with the hand on the truss regulator, all through the upper row of buttons requires the hand to be released. The 8 buttons below the truss controller, which can also be programmed, are arranged and installed differently, which makes them easy to feel without having to look at them. But they do not have a status LED. On the SEM expansion module, most of the buttons have a status LED, and the upper multifunction switch even has a three-part permanent status display. If we do not use these switches as axes, they have a three-part grid. In the scope of delivery, both modules are mounted on a stable table bracket, which however can also be integrated into existing bracket systems. The connection is made via the 1.8 meter long USB-C to USB-A cable, whereby a USB 2 2.0 connection on the computer is already sufficient. For commissioning, the connection via USB is already sufficient, whereby we carry out the calibration via the free software, VKB Device Config, for full functionality. After connecting, you will find the SEM THQ Trust Regulator in the upper bar and click on it. Then go to Tools and start the calibration, whereby we have only used the two main axes here and left the multifunction switches as switches. If you want to use the two optional axes, you can simply select them here and calibrate them afterwards. By clicking on axis, we can see the calibration by moving the thrust sliders to their maximum position, whereby we move both axes to their maximum position several times to complete the calibration. And as a hint, the VKB software is not necessary for the operation, but only for the calibration or, if necessary, a firmware update. Optionally, we can select the various buttons and switches on the thrust controller, whereby we are shown which button it is. Because here we have an in-depth adjustment and programming options. However, we first finish the calibration by clicking on end, whereby the unit is reinitialized and reappears in your list. And now you are completely ready for use. Now, depending on the game, you can set up and adjust your VKB World War II Trust Controller via the options menu. And thanks to the large numbers of buttons and switches, you should have no shortage of options at first. In addition, the NXT series is of course fully compatible with the various modules, the Gladiator joystick series and attachments, which means that there are no limits in customizing your setup. The price in the EU is 225 euros including delivery and taxes, which is a very strong price for the range of functions offered. However, compared to higher price competitors, the World War II's pure trust mechanism is rather rudimentary, but offers a very strong overall package here. For the North American region, the price is $169, but this is subject to individual delivery costs and taxes. By the way, with the code Carolinger, you save a whopping 5% at VKB, no matter in which country you order. Hardware was provided to us by VKB for the test, but we had no influence on it. 
It is therefore our free and own opinion. Conclusion: We can recommend the GNX THQ especially to beginners, because the enormous range of functions and the good quality are convincing. <laughs>